tremendous pga -er, the greatest interview in jungle history, good jungle friend, Steve Elkington. Now, Elk, a PGA champ, by the way, if you need him, two-time Players Champion, Elk did reach Travis Rogers and say, hey, listen, mate, I got something on your boy. I'm one up on him, and here he is. Elk, what's up? G'day, Jimmy. How are you, mate? Elk, I'm great. How are you? Good, mate. Listen, I haven't been on the show for a while, but that doesn't mean I'm not listening to the show and also doesn't mean I'm not getting harassed about the show when I play, but I was listening to you. Uh, Hold on, Elk. Before you get there, give me something. What's the latest? Any clone harassment? You haven't had to bust up any clones? Give me a good story. They're, they're, they're friendly, but, mate, they're, they're all over. They're, you know, it, it's amazing, the, the show, the way, it, the way it takes on its own life when... when like this Rex interview that was great for, you know, the last, this, this whole month. But, uh, you know, the show's big, you know that. But I'm somehow synonymously hooked in with this show forever, I think. You know, somehow, been, you know, Elk, you're the best interview ever. That's how somehow. As long as yeah. the clones know that you like to drink sometimes and fight sometimes, they'll be fine. Yeah, mate, that's good. <laughs> um, but I, I, uh, when you were saying this morning that you got some uh, pitches back from, uh, from Rex, you know, from, from NASA... Some private pitches. I said to myself, going down the road, I said, "Mate, mate, I've got. I don't like to, you know, I don't like to better a guy's story. But in this case, about six months ago, I was asked through one of your one of your affiliates down here, Jeff Garrison, who's a PD on KILT. He's a good mate of mine. He said, "Look, would you be interested in going down to NASA with your family and hook you up live to the space station to talk to Dan Tanney? Dan Tanney is an astronaut, and he's in the space station. He's been up there for like two months." And uh, he loves to talk golf, and, you know, he's, he, he likes you. He's, you know, he's followed golf, et cetera. I said, yeah, mate, yeah, I'll go down there. I'll go do that. So, mate, me and the family packed up. We went down there, and, and uh, of course, you know, we've all sort of seen NASA. I've been through it before with, you know, family and, and so on. But, mate, we were in mission control while the shuttle was actually up there so we were actually in there there's the guy that you know the, the main guy who's running the whole show is eating a sandwich and there's you know there's there's the, you can see up on the board where this thing does like 26 revolutions of the earth every you know every every day it's just you know everything's going on and my kids are looking at it and the lady there's one lady there who she she organizes uh things for the astronaut to they sort of have a they sort of have a normal work day where they'll work for maybe six hours straight and then they then they're supposed to take a break. And, and in that time, they either watch movies or they, I know they play with their toothpaste because it's, you know, weightless and they, they make shapes and they do all these things. Uh, but in this case, Dan Tanny wanted to talk a bit of golf. So uh, we went back and he hooked me up live with the family and boom, mate, we're in there. We're, we're in the space station and he's floating around there. And uh, we're talking golf. We're talking drinking. We're talking St. Andrews. We're talking about our favorite courses, et cetera. Come on, while he's floating around up in space. Yeah, mate. He's just doing a bit of work, and he's showing us around. My son, who uh, was 10 at the time or 11 at the time, Sam, said, hey, Dan, can you show us your space suit, mate? And uh, so Dan floats over down. The, you know, the camera follows him along. He brings the suit over, and he shows all the gear in the suit because I learned that the space, you know, the, the astronauts, it's one thing to go into space, but really when they, what they really want to do, mate, is like their major, their master's win or their PGA win is to get outside of the spaceship, mate. The, 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 the outside of the ship is their Dalai Lama. Oh, no, the spacewalk. That's what Rex Walheim's known for. That's his specialty, the spacewalk. Yeah, the, the get out of the ship, mate. Yeah, Elk, just as long as you don't like to better a guy's story, Elk, keep going. Yeah, mate, that's the Dalai Lama is out of the ship. So uh, in this case, this space shuttle has some issues with whatever. So Dan had to go, had to do two or three of them. So he was just over the top. But anyway, the story as it went on. So we said, hey, mate, when you come back, he's got to go into, uh, you know, he's got to go. When they come back, they have a fair amount of time down where they can't do much. And then we'd, we'd, we'd have a game of golf. But we haven't been able to do that. But what we did talk about was his, his mother-in-law was from Wagga, Wagga Wagga, where I'm, where I'm from in Australia. Come on. And, yeah, mate. And we, as we left it, we said, okay, we left. Our family was great. But as the days and weeks went by, Dan, mate, would email me from space. As he went over the Old Course Hotel in St. Andrews, he shot me out a picture of the Old Course because he knew it was mine and his favorite place to play. 
That's and incredible. Made, yeah, and then he was shooting me emails as he went across Wagga Wagga. But I had to email him back and told him it wasn't Wagga Wagga. It was the next town over, which was Gumley Gumley, which is a fact. And so he had that slightly <laughs> off. But, but, but anyway. Well, you are too much. Now, can you respond when he's emailing you those pictures? He's got the technology. Yeah, no, can you respond? Mate. Yep, I wrote, thanks. And, by the way, that's Gumley Gumley, mate. Wagga Wagga's 14 <laughs> miles to the east. You felt pretty so, good about correcting him, too. I felt pretty good about that, mate, because I could see the racetrack there at Gumley Gumley. Wagga doesn't have one, mate. So, uh, But anyway, when I heard your story, I thought that was great. And, and, well, thanks, uh, uh, Elk. Thanks a lot, and I feel like crap. <laughs> now, you know what, Elk? I, I don't want to be a guy to better somebody else's story either, but you know I've been to Mars, right? No, nah, mate. No, nah, mate. Nah, yeah, that's I'm not, not true. that, Jimmy. That's not true, Elk. You're right. You're right. That That is awesome. So you guys have not played golf yet, though. No, no, we haven't. But uh, uh, actually, his mother was actually uh, tragically killed while he was in space. He's the only only astronaut to lose a family member while he was in space. She was hit. She was in a terrible accident and died. But we've sort of uh, we haven't done any connecting after that. I just sort of let it lay lay low and all that. But uh, as you know, we're living here in Houston with NASA right there, mate, and everything's going on. It's it's pretty interesting once you've met someone. It's like like sports, uh, I'm sure this is like for a lot of your listeners that like me, and then, of course, they love you, is once they've met someone or they've heard them talk or whatever, then all of a sudden you become a big fan of it. And, that, and that's the program's strong, mate, as you know now. You, you're in it. You can tell you love it, too. No, Elk, you're right. You're, you hit around on the head. I mean, when I spoke to him yesterday, and I could see the clone response to it, and because you've had a taste of it yourself, it's just something so different and so interesting and so cool. I mean, I guess we all want to know or meet or talk to an astronaut, and it lived up to the hype. Exactly. And, I, and, you know, my daughter said to him, what, you know, how do you become an astronaut? And they said, you have to study, you know, engineer. What, you know, what do you got to do? And they said, not really. They said, most astronauts that are really good and clever, that they're, they're basically, they're just problem solvers. And, and, you know, those guys that go up in that space shuttle, mate, they, they have an issue with, let's say, the toilet, which was a big issue on the TV and the, and the thing. They just got to invent stuff to fix it. And that's, mate, that's, that's their go. That is there yeah. go. So, Elk, how do you become a professional golfer? Now that we've figured out this astronaut thing, how do oh, we become pro golfers? That's, that's much more complex, mate. Much more complex. <laughs> yeah, it is. Absolutely. <laughs> you guys aren't just solving problems or fixing toilets. <laughs> Elk, you are the best. Hey, listen, how's your game right now? Mate, it's been like the stock market, mate. I do six. I was telling Travis over there, I was 68, 67 out in Palm Springs. Then I shoot 75. Then I'd go, you know, up to Pebble Beach, 67, 74. Mate, I'm just back and forth, so... I got to get that tidied up, mate. I might have to drop a night out every once in a while just to back <laughs> off a hair. This is my 22nd year on tour, and it's, it's a bit of an old, it's a bit old hat, but I still love it. And uh, mate, there's plenty of good golf left in it for me. And I, I have been away from the show a bit, Jimmy, but I listen to it all the time. And I tell you what, I'll do as the Masters gets closer, I'll handicap it for you, mate. And we'll we'll get on, and I'll bring in some more, bit better stories than these ones. But this was just a story I thought that the guys might like to hear. Hey, Elk, if you were playing it, I'd pick you to win it. What do you mean, handicap yeah. it? Yeah, no worries, man. I'll, I've got to do a bit of work between now and then, but, hey, it, it's, uh, it's, it, it can happen. Hey, listen, you get your work in. Uh, I buy that. You get your work in, and if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. And if not, you can definitely break it down and handicap it for us. So even if you're not coming in, Elk, we're also thinking about you, and I'm glad that you're listening. Thanks, Jimmy. All the El- best, mate. Elk, you're the best. All the best to you. You're still number one, Elk. Based on your smack your swing, your body of work, and your ability to talk junk. Elk, you're the best. Steve Elkington. I hate to better another guy's story, but give me some room so I can better your story and blow you out of the water. Great. You talk to an astronaut. I am friends with an astronaut, and he texts me from space. Elk is a beauty.